Hello? Oh. Hi. Hello. Um. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Well, um, not sure what's up. Try opening one more time. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, interesting. Imported but unused. What's the issue here? cool two blank lines okay apparently we've been doing a lot of uh, things that are unexpected spaces around keyword parameter equals so I guess uh, the latest version of this package, Python package, has a lot of uh, style auto suggest things. That's cool. All right. Anyway, um, it's working. Yay! Uh, let's. Not. It's working, but not for the left side. And I. Oh yeah. I. I. I I just did not know why at all. Oh, uh, show me what it looks like on yours. Um, I meant um, my editor is working, not the uh, simulator. What does it look like? I don't know if the top bounce works because it's not enough yet, but... Right. That works. Oh, hey, look at that. It's off the wall. That's awesome. I mean, just not like it. Uh, decides not to work. Ah. Um, 
Then, uh, let's go look at the, uh, code for the left wall. Um... So it uses zero minus self dot left edge. Um, I wonder if left. Let me try it on mine. Um, Oh no. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh what did we call it? Ball drop. Okay, so mine doesn't run at all. Uh name math is not defined. Oh you just have to import math. Yeah. I had that. Okay, mine is moving to the right, but very, very slowly. Well, bounces off the ground. That seems to work. Okay. Um, let me make mine move to the right more. again. That is going more, but it's still pretty slow. Uh, let me make that more and more. Okay, that's more and more. <laughs> okay, as soon as it hit the right edge, it just died. Um, let's see. Uh, ball has no attribute. Go other way and decrease speed X. Okay, cool. Let's go. go. Uh, I think I might have, like, just at the end of our last session, just, com like, because I don't think we completed, like, the bounce off of everything. I just, yeah. like, did that Same. myself. So. Um. Yeah. Okay, it hit the right wall and bounced and went to the left. Oh, <laughs> Okay, um, let me see if I can share that. Uh, let me slow it down a little. Alrighty, here it goes. It's the right wall, that's fine. And then it's gonna hit the left wall soon. And <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So as soon as it hits the <laughs> left wall, it makes. It makes a straight line across everything. Maybe it has like infinite y, I mean x velocity or something. 
Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so... Uh, try to figure that out. Okay, um, well, mine does not do that. Mine just doesn't hit a wall. Um, and I don't actually see why that's happening. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, let's see. So I guess, uh, every time... What do we do down here? We do... Ball dot update and then ball dot draw. Okay, so let's go look at def update. When we update, uh, update velocity, update position. Alrighty, let's go look at velocity. Oh, it if looks like it's not. Yeah. In my code, it looks like it's not even detecting when it's hitting the left, but this looks correct. Um. Maybe print out the values, uh, for self dot prior left edge and self dot left edge. I'll just reverse these and see if that fixes everything. Even though I don't think it should. <gasps> Excuse me. <gasps> oh man. Okay, well you didn't break the right wall, so that's good. Yes. Okay, no, it just, it just, this, this, this just never gets ran, um, it just never hits because I don't know why it doesn't detect. So it is correctly detecting when it hits the left wall. What's the error message when it hits the left wall? There's no, there's no error message. It just doesn't detect the, re the left wall. It's supposed to print hit, and it never prints hit. But there was an error message before you made that change just now, right? No. I thought it. I thought you bounced off the right wall just fine, and then when it bounced off the left wall, didn't it like end the program? No, no, no. That was that was me clicking this. No, not not just now, but earlier, before you made the change to the thing that detects no, whether no, it has hit the left no, wall. No, no, that's just no, it's incorrect. So this is what it was before. Okay. Um. Hmm. So now it's not detecting the left wall at all. Well, it never, that was the original problem, it never did. Okay. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, go ahead and print out the values for left edge detection. Um, is still and at bottom, if, is it still? Y velocity is zero at bottom. So this is if it's flat on the bottom. Okay. Self dot center Y. 
Okay, yeah. And then, so going back up. If it is going, then the y velocity gets increased by gravity times the time step divided by a thousand. Okay, that all seems good. Um, update position. That seems to make sense. Okay. Hit floor, hit ceiling, hit left, hit right. Left edge, less than zero, less than prior left edge. What do you have? For where? For whether or not it hit the left edge. Hit left Q, left edge, greater than zero, greater than current left edge. Yeah? Okay. So the left edge would be exactly zero if the current left edge is to the left of that and the prior left edge was to the right of that, then we just hit the wall. Yeah, that seems right. Uh, and for you, that does nothing. It just doesn't Maybe detect. Maybe the uh, left edge method is wrong, or the prior left edge method is wrong. So, uh, where are those? So self.center.x minus self.radius, okay, and then prior left edge, prior center, where oh. is your prior left edge, prior, whoa, 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 no, no, you're in the wrong one, you're in the wrong one, you're in the wrong one, you're doing lower, you're, right. you're, modif you're modifying lower, <laughs> you want left edge. Okay, so self dot prior center x minus self dot radius. So maybe prior center isn't getting updated correctly? Well, that's um, not right because it works for right edge. Right? Uh... Not necessarily. Maybe... I don't know, maybe somehow it's getting updated correctly when it's going in that direction, but not when it's going in the other direction. I could see that. When does prior center get updated? Does prior center get updated? Oh. Yeah, I don't see any update to prior center ever. I just see the initial setting of its value, and that's it. Do you have that? Do you have an update to prior center? Uh, no. Okay, well, let's see if we can add one in and then maybe that'll fix things. Um, so for the right wall, when prior center, so this would mean that prior center was just wherever the ball started. So the starting position of the ball. 
So for the right edge, when it checks, did I just cross the boundary? The answer is yes, as soon as it goes to the right of the right wall at all, because what it thinks of as the prior center is definitely to the left of the right wall. So, I think that works. Oh, and then the left wall doesn't work because uh, the equality here is strictly less than. We don't ha have here any code that works for what if you land directly on the wall so you're not less than or greater than but you're exactly equal to it there's no code here for handling that situation mm -hmm. um also maybe this means that we don't really need to keep track of the prior we can just keep track of the current location if the current location is to the right of the right wall then we'll just assume that we just hit the right wall if the current location is to the left of the left wall we can assume that we just hit the left wall I mean I think the problem that you discussed when we were first making this was if the ball was moving too fast and then it just wouldn't something to do with like how it just wouldn't uh work as well as as using the prior and current yeah edges. um so Let's see, if it was moving too fast, what would happen? Because we go based off of kicks, yeah. right? Um, and I, I, I forgot like the exact reasoning, but you, that's what, that's what you said. So, yeah. So I know that like when you do a button press to detect the button cr press correctly uh, you can do constantly keep track of whether the button was up on the prior round or down on the prior round the last time you checked and then once it goes uh from up to down that's when you consider it being pressed and you don't consider it pressed mm -hmm. if it's down but it was also down on the last frame too um yeah so this wouldn't so that uh if we don't keep track of prior edge then we wouldn't really be able to tell if we just hit the wall or if we are like way outside the bounds and have been for a while. Um, and maybe that's important. Um, but yeah, so we can decide uh, where should the equals case go. Uh, so, for example, determining whether we hit the left wall. If the left edge is right at the edge of the whole screen and the prior left edge is inside the whole screen, should we consider that a a hit right then or should we wait until the ball the left edge goes a little to the left of the left wall 
I mean, if it's on the edge, it should count, right? What? If it's on the edge, it should count as a hit. Yeah, I think so too. So we need to change this up to reflect that. So would you would we just change all of them to greater than or equal to or less than or equal to? Like, no, not all of them. If well, I guess you could, but so the idea is we want to detect when does when does uh when does the ball go from here to here? So here is the prior left edge, and then here is the current left edge, and here's the left edge of the, the world. So the prior left edge, so if we change these both to less than or equal to, that means we're detecting which I guess maybe that's okay. We would also detect this state and consider this having just hit the wall. That doesn't seem like, like if I see this frame and then this frame, it doesn't look to me like I just hit the wall. I mean, maybe, maybe I just hit the wall, but it kind of looks like I've been at the wall and I can't tell whether I just hit the wall. Whereas this, if this is one frame and then this is the very next frame, or if this is the prior frame and this is the current frame, then I can tell, yeah, I, I just hit the wall. Okay. So then, based on that, what would you do? This is prior frame. This is current frame. This counts as hitting the wall. So we want what what should our how should we update this? Um we should make it so that if the left edge is equal to the wall. Yeah. Like that. The edge, not the prior edges. Yeah. So how should we change the uh, equality here? Could you not just add an equal sign after the other sign? You add it somewhere. Uh oh, you're doing floor. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah, I guess equal on the current, whatever the current one is. Yeah. So, or equal, and then, or equal, or equal, or equal. Alrighty, I'm going to go try running that and see what happens. Oh, right. I still never update the center. Do you? Yeah, I, no, 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 no. I do not. Um, so that means this will probably still not work for me. It'll probably still do the, the bizarro line thing. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Um... So let's go prior center. Oh, that's weird. It's not telling me that this variable is unused. Do I actually use it somewhere? No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to get rid of it. Do you have that? 
Or the north. Okay. Um, prior center. Okay. So, where does center get updated? Update position. So what should we do here? Um, we should make another um, we should make an update prior position. Um, I think it makes sense to have it be in this method right here. Every time we update position, we know we need to update what the prior position was. Mm -hmm. Um, so if I say this before. It, this this won't equal this one. It'll just equal the one before, and then this gets updated. Is that correct? Yeah. What you have there will will. Uh, so we're updating the position. So we're about to lose the current value of the position when we do these lines. So we want to save the current value of, of the position into some other variable. Yeah. Let's see what happens. OK, right wall hit. Good. Same for me, right wall. Cool. Do, 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 do. Left wall, left wall, left wall. Yeah! And then for right. me, also. Cool. Okay, left wall and right wall. That's pretty neat. Um. Okay. Let's make a commit out of that. Oh, shoot, I don't have my... Thing I'm a Bob going. Uh, what? That's weird. Um, yeah, I'll have to look into why is my path not set later. Um, okay. Okay, well, it looks like I did not do a commit last time. Oh, bummer. But I don't think this is that bad. I'm going to make a git commit for adding a bounce for all four sides. Um, is that... I think that's, that's good enough for me. Um, 
if I just say my Okay, also, it looks like our, do we ever d increase our x velocity is, I just realized now that that looks like it's a problem. We never decrease x velocity? Well, maybe it, even if, if we do, then it's at a very slow rate. Um, here we have an update velocity, and it looks like it only works, it only does something with the uh, y velocity. Okay, yeah, we should probably change that then. Um, how much do you want to decrease x velocity by? Um, I am not sure. How does this... I'm going to change it to a 1 and see what happens. Oh, no. Okay, that's way too much. Uh... Also, decreasing means go more to the left. So that's not the right thing to do. Update velocity. I should instead uh, do a geometric decrease. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, wow. That uh, brings it to a halt pretty much immediately. Uh, that also pretty much immediately brings it to a halt. Okay. That brings it to a halt in a little bit more interesting of a way, but it still still doesn't look quite right. Uh, try adding another nine, see what happens. We're getting close to the limits of uh, the precision of floating point anyway. Okay, so it made it to both walls. It does appear to be slowing down.
Oh, and I don't know if I have something for making it, uh, making the X velocity stop when, uh, oh, but I guess we don't really need the X velocity to stop because it could roll when it's on the ground. Oh yeah, I haven't tested the stop bouncing code in a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think the stop bouncing code doesn't work anymore. No, I think it does. Uh, if you, well, it kind of does. Because if you move this to like point 0.1 and it I'll bounce and bounce, and then I think it's very small. The amount uh, of bounce? Yeah. So the thing, uh, so the bounce detector is supposed to, like, it's it's not going up and down by more than a pixel right now, and I think that was the intended threshold was if it was going up and down by about a pixel. Uh, then we should consider that stopped. But maybe not. Anyway, I'm going to go look at the code for detecting whether it's bouncing, because it, whatever it is, I think it should be slightly different, because I think it should be considered stopped bouncing at this point. So <laughs> let me go look at that. Um, bounce? Floor. Close to the floor is definitely That's fine. Screen. Hit floor. Bounce floor. Okay. Uh, oops. So, update. We'll update the velocity and the position. And then, ah, stop at very low speed. Uh, but the X velocity is still, so the speed magnitude is, takes into account the X velocity. Do we, oh yeah, so here, X squared plus Y squared. Well, X squared plus Y squared. Um, so this is, if it's at a very slow speed and it's close to the floor, whoops, but it's not at a very slow speed, because it still has, it still has X speed. Like, much bigger than 1x speed. So maybe stop at very low speed. Maybe instead of stopping at a very low speed, well, maybe in addition to this one, we could have one for, like, x independent of y, or y independent of x, rather. Like, detect whether we should stop bouncing independent of whether we should stop rolling. Uh-huh, I see. Okay. You can definitely you can definitely see that. Um So uh Do we have like a stop Stopped bouncing, bouncing. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like we have a method for... Oh, we do have a close to floor. 
that's not quite the same as a stopped bouncing because we could be close to the floor uh but not bouncing um stop at a very low speed okay so if the yeah so hmm so we need something like stop bouncing or something about like don't do tiny bounces uh something like that but also let's go back to notes and all right uh start here next time need to have other methods for bouncing off the walls and the ceiling too we didn't uh quite check um adjust for discrete versus continuous go the other way and decrease speed stop at very low speed so we're pretty close to having done this um update velocity should also do the y velocity or the x velocity oh we did that um how many update. nines did he how many point nine like how many what how many nines did he do oh i <laughs> uh five Um, let's see, update the other helpers as well to do X velocity, uh, EG is still, yeah, so let's do, so we have bounce off left and right edges, stop rolling after stop bouncing, yeah, this is where we should start next time, start here next time, and... Um, make a method to detect when to stop bouncing independent of detecting when to stop rolling. Okay, go ahead and make a commit. Can I do one big one? Uh, yeah. Oh, do you have like? Uh, yeah. Go, go ahead. Sure. Okay. Wait. Well, okay. So here, most of it is just adding the the bounce, and it's like subsequent methods to all four sides uh -huh. and like maybe the only things that would not be included in this would be like right right here that's like a little different yeah in order uh, to add so because those are so close they're part of the same hunk um in order to do that you'd have to do git add dash p and then when you get to the hunk that includes both of those things you hit the e key to split it then you have to d edit the hunk uh which means you have to know how what the hunk format is it's not super complicated but it is like extra stuff um Yeah. So, is this the part that has... Oh. Yeah, I can't split this hunk. Oh, so this yeah, okay. So this is the part that you want. Okay, so hit E for edit. If you, if you want to try and split it. And then um, the lines down at the bottom. Oh, use J and K to move up and down. Um, and then capital V to start highlighting lines. And then J to go down to highlight more and more lines. And then D to delete. No, uh, not that line. Go up one. up k 
Okay. Yes. Okay. And then well, he... that also counts. Like as oh wait oh it's not I mean never mind. And delete. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. And then do escape colon W Q and then hit enter. Cool. So you just accepted part of that hunk as your commit. Oh shoot, I gotta go. Um cool. Uh good luck. Bye.